artifacts of Mars. And in California, a lawmaker wanted to designate May 26th as John Wayne Day to celebrate the veteran actor who died many years ago. And the usual suspects, Democrats, went to block it because he had some views that they don't like. And they're saying racism and all this. Now, before we get started on this article, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on hold, and I'm going to introduce, give you a little introduction to who he was, because there's some people who view this video who don't know uh, what kind of roles he played and such. Hang on. Now, you have to understand what kind of actor this was. He was an actor for a different era. He uh, played the tough macho white guy role in the movies that he played. I think he died from lung cancer if I'm not mistaken. Which is a shame. He would play in cowboy films like you see here. He would play in World War II action about anything you can imagine. Uh, even one romantic film. So I'm going to take this down. And we'll show you just a handful of them. Hang on. Okay, Blood Alley. 1955. Plays an American captain of a uh, some kind of a civilian ship that's fleeing the communist Chinese headed towards Hong Kong, where there was British leased that colony, leased it as a colony for one at one time. The ship seized by the Chinese communist anti-American merchant Captain Tom Wilder languishes in prison, but Chinese villagers help him to escape to sail to them to Hong Kong. The exciting movie, uh, civilian ship that's shot at and pursued by a communist Chinese destroyer. The Quiet Man, a retired American boxer, returns to the village of his birth in Ireland where he finds love. Okay, that one is interesting because at one point he kicks in his new bride, I think she was his bride at the time, locks the door between he and her and he kicks the door in. See, today the feminists would be screeching, demanding this movie be banned because of that scene. But that's the way things used to be. Uh, he had a real man, he took charge of his home, and that's the way it was. Okay, In Harm's Way, World War II movie, uh, this one starts out Pearl Harbor, he sees the uh, Japanese planes over Pearl Harbor and he says, I don't like it, and he didn't know they were Japanese, but he said, I don't like it, that's the one thing I remember from it, this is a good movie, In Harm's Way, 1965, John Wayne. So he played a naval officer there. Finally, True Grit, a drunken, hard-nosed U.S. Marshal and Texas Ranger help a stubborn teenager track down her father's murderer in Indian Territory. So these are the types of roles that he played. Now, let's take a look at the article. This was a real American hero as far as I'm concerned despite his views. His views weren't 100% uh, 
what some of these liberals like him to be. And of course, he's a white male, and that's a strike against him. And he played a tough, you know, it's always playing this tough macho type. That's your introduction for anybody who doesn't know who John Wayne was. I know there will be a few of you. I worked with somebody who didn't know who Bob Hope was, for crying out loud. Believe it or not, some girl. All right. So, in Sacramento, uh, the Duke, as he is known, he was in all sorts of different movies. Like I said, Assemblyman Matthew Harper of Huntington Beach sought to declare May 26, 2016 as John Wayne Day to mark the day the actor was born. But here you have the usual Democrats saying, nope, 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 nope. He had the wrong views towards race, so we can't honor him. He had disturbing views towards race, objected commie liberal Luis Alajo D. Wattensville, leading off a 20 minute debate. Alajo cited a 1971 interview with Playboy in which Wayne talked disparagingly about blacks. You know, all I care about is honoring his uh, film le legacy. I believe in white supremacy until blacks are educated to the point of responsibility. I don't believe in giving authority in positions of leadership and judgment to irresponsible people. He told the magazine, well, neither do I. Assemblyman Mike Gibson, D. Carson, who was black, so they found Wayne's comments personally offensive. Too bad. Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, D. San Diego, cited his comments defending white European encroachment on American Indians who once, Wayne once said, were selfishly trained to keep it for themselves. Well, he can have any opinions he wants. The only thing I care about is that he uh, was a consummate actor and deserves to be recognized for that. You see, liberals love actors that play drug dealers, uh, bank robbers, uh, of course, uh, black Marxist supremacists and such. They love actors that do that. And they love the uh, pimps and the hookers and John Wayne was a real man. He epitomized everything about this country that there is to epitomize. Opposing John Wayne Day resolutions like opposing apple pie, fireworks, baseball, and free enterprise system on the 4th of July, he said later in a written statement. His resolution fell on uh, 35 to 20 volt in which Harper called the orthodoxy of political correctness. He's right. I think the assemblyman would <coughs> know if there was a crossword about having an airport named after him, said Harper's spokeswoman, Alan Cooper. Several lawmakers supported the resolution calling Wayne an American hero. His family created a namesake cancer foundation after his death. Yeah, don't look at their views, look at their actions. You have to have the right view all of a sudden in this country to be recognized? That's absurd. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is perfect. You gotta do the best you can. John Wayne wasn't perfect. These lawmakers aren't perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. The Bible's right about that. None of us are perfect. But this is absurd. These are 
people will just hate this country. They're like, <laughs> many Obamas, uh, small, you know, on a much smaller scale, they're like Obamas, basically. Oh, well. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.